It's James Woods, AKA Dat Yoga Dude with Feel Free to Feel Free. Ah, so happy and excited to be here, jumping into spring break, jumping into just some time for ourselves to relax, to release, to focus on the things that make us feel good. That's what we're gonna be doing today, helping ourselves to feel good, warming up, invigorating our body, moving through some postures, some poses, creating a sense of wellness right here at home in our own bodies. How do we do that? Well, of course we do it through the breath, through the movement, and just through feeling good and connecting with the things that have probably been connected for a while. All the stress of moving here, moving there, online, this, that, that. Let's get back to connected to help ourselves to relax and release and really calm down and be in a place of peace and chill. We're gonna start our journey to that place in a seated position, in your chair, on the mat, on the bed, whatever works for you, coming down, coming in to relax and release position. I'm gonna sit crisscross applesauce because that will work for me. You can also sit with your legs out. Maybe your back is pressed against the bed or the wall. Maybe you're laying down, whatever works for you. We're gonna start out with a brief meditation. Meditation rules the nation. In this meditation, we're going, we're going to work on releasing and letting go. We're going to let some stuff go, y'all. We're going to let go of the confusion. We're going to let go of the frustration. We're going to let go of the uh, anger. and the, uh, Irritation. The doubt. The anxiety. Let go of the struggle. And just come into the breath. Finding a comfortable place for your arms to be. Maybe the palms are face up in your lap. Or face down on the tops of your knees. Maybe moving around in your seat till you find your sit bones pressing to the ground and your spine raising tall as your shoulders collapse and fall away from the ears. Allowing your belly breath to be the focus of your mind as we walk through the tension and the tightness in our body, allowing it to relax and release coming into a place of chill. Let that release move up and through your spine, all the way up to the back of your neck, giving yourself a massage of relaxation. Any stiffness, tightness in your face, just let it be slack. Let your body be a place that hate, anger, frustration, tightness, tension, can't even live. Just for a few minutes, don't give it space to live. Let it go. Allow yourself to be light. Allow yourself to be open. Allow yourself to be calm. Turning it off by just turning into the breath. Every inhale and exhale counts towards chill. If you do leave the breath for a second, use that focus and attention to relax the body and then come right back to the breath. The inhale and the exhale. The inhale and the exhale. Allow the breath to create the body you want. Relaxed, loose, open, flexible, fun.
appreciated, accepted, and loved. Allow your thoughts to bring you to a place of welcome. Welcome every breath in and all the new possibilities it brings. And just letting every breath go without trying to hold on to it, make anything of it, judge it, criticize it. Just let it go. Creating space for the next breath to come in. There's no need for you to hold on to anything that can't make you feel how you want to feel. Calm, released, well. Deep inhales and deep exhales. Let's slowly take a few more deep breaths your own pace, allowing your body to sink with your breath. Starting to notice a little bit of relaxation, maybe even a little bit of slowing down. Just notice it. Good. Take a deep inhale here. And slow exhale. Nice. On the next deep breath, let's slowly sit up nice and tall, bringing our hands to our shins, our knees, our thighs, wherever, just to bring our chest forward, using our legs and arms and hands as leverage. Good, and bring your head to the sky, chin lifts up. Feel the stretch at the front of your body, breathing deep. Good, exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. And this three more times. Inhale. Throat opens, chest opens, spine curves in for a deep stretch in the back. Exhale, chin down. Spine rounds for a deep stretch in the back. Good. Feel the collarbones roll back, the shoulders roll open. Exhale. Then the shoulders roll forward as the Spine protrudes behind you, curving, mm, stretching through the vertebrae. Inhale, open up the belly, the abs, the chest, the sternum. Bring the head towards the sky and drop the crown of the head back. Chin towards the sky, reach up. Exhale. Good. Nice. Let's slowly unwind out of our seated position. Feeling all the magic you just created in your own brain through breathing, moving, being intentional. We're going to make our way to our hands and our knees and then just push back to our hips over our heels. Whoo, coming into child's pose. So I am dropping my hips over my heels as I tuck in my shirt. Wardrobe malfunctions. It happens. Let it go. Push my hips towards my heels and then drop my chest over my thighs. Drop my head. Drop my hands down to the side. Coming into a child's pose. Ooh, much deserved, much needed, especially on a wellness Wednesday. Whole body is saying, You've been through Monday, you made it. You've been through Tuesday, you barely made it. Let's sit here at Wednesday and be present as we let go, whatever we don't need. Being here in the moment, being mindful. <sighs> Carrying yourself back to the breath every time your mind carries away. So find ways to get comfortable. You might move your hips left and right, move your shoulders. You can bring your palms face up with your arms kind of pointed behind you. You can even bring the hands to the side, forearms down, palms down, whatever works for you. Good. Nice. See if you can drop the hips back a little bit more over the heels. Mm -hmm. Good. Inhale slowly. Bringing ourselves up into a tabletop position. Good. Let's warm the body up here. Tabletop position. Fingers are spread wide. 
my wrist mm. gently pressing into the ground just holding me up and keeping them hip distance apart so that means i can bring my wrist and draw a line straight to my knees which is straight in line with my hips boom elbows in line body feels amazing on the next inhale i'm going to send my left leg back behind me tickle the pat plant and bring my forehead towards the mat and the top of my head out in front of me so my top of my head is pulling away from me and my left heel is pulling in the opposite direction body is going in two different directions but the breath is still the focus one breath spread those fingers wide bring that left leg up just a little bit more good left leg pulling back head pulling forward breathe in exhale bend the knee drop it down any movement that you need right now you can move the hips move the shoulders move the head just move you got to move it move it uh, whatever feels good for you and if you need more cushion on your knees you can double the mat if you like or have two mats like i have or have a thicker mat use a towel use a pot holder whatever works good inhale i'm going to send my right foot back now once again hands pressed into the mat extend that right leg as much as i can so i want to keep my right hip down i don't want to spill my beans rolling that hip open keep my right hip down top of my head is pulling forward and out shoulders relax straighten that right leg a little bit more good reaching out reaching away You're doing great nice take a deep inhale Exhale, drop that right knee down. Good. Moving forward. Inhale this time, left hand forward. Stretch it out. Left hand is reaching away. So I'm pulling away. So my spine is straight. My hips are pulled back. Get a long stretch throughout my left side. Inhale here. Good. Exhale, drop that left hand down. Inhale, shaking the hand, washing the plant. Plants need to be washed, right? Pulling those fingers away from me. I'm gonna look down. So the back of my neck is straight in line with my spine. The breath is deep as I allow my belly to fall on the inhale. Exhale, suck it in. And push it out. Good. Drop that right hand down. Let's push those hips back towards the heels for another baby child's pose oh this is such a good stretch right here my back my hips my spine my knees my quadriceps the top of my legs the calves full body stretch here for another five four slowing it down three two one good let's inhale slowly come up halfway flat I'm gonna tuck my toes, raise my hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Here we go, first diggity down dog of the day. Let's move those hips back and forth, left and right. Good, <sighs> working it out, working it out. We will return here, I guarantee it. But let's get everything we can in this moment. Mm, stretching the hips, moving them back and forth, stretching the legs by straightening them out, pushing the heels down, pushing them to the tops of the hands, not the wrist, the tops of the hands. Take all that pressure out of the wrist. Bringing the chest back towards the knees, feel the shoulders just relax, let them slide down the bed, the back. Shake out the head. Good, I'm still thinking about the bed. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, walk the feet up to the hands. Good. Moving the hips side to side once again. You can exaggerate it as long as you don't hurt yourself. Nice. And then let's roll up here. Tuck the tailbone slowly. Roll up. Good. Fingers dragging along the body. Arms raising to the sky. Lean back. Open up. Stretch up. Ooh. Something popped. And then exhale. Bring the hands down into the heart. Take a deep breath here. Breathe in. Oh, you deserve that. You really do. Inhale, both hands reach up and stretch into the sky. Good. Exhale, we're going to forward fold, swan dive. Good. Hips push back, legs straight as we possibly can. See how my back is flat? 
good. Swan dive, and then fold forward. Let's come up halfway, flat back once again, hands on shins and knees, stretching the spine. Good, exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands into our downward facing dog. See, we came here again. This time we're gonna add a little special sauce to it. Raise that right foot back and behind you. Ooh, so see my left heel drives down as my right foot reaches up. Mm, let's point that right toe and then curl it. Point and curl, point. And this time I'm gonna bend my right knee and bring it up into my chest as I exhale. Ooh, that's intense. Inhale, send that right foot back into the sky. And you can do this on your knee if you need to. Bring that right knee in. Uh, hold it. Send it back. Inhale, send it up. Then exhale. I'm going to bring this right knee up. Uh, and then in between both of my hands. Walk it up. Step it up. Nice. My left knee is up. You can drop it down if you need to. But I'm going to hold it up here as I press my hands into the mat. I'm bringing my chest forward. Bringing the top, the back of my left leg up, stretching my whole body. Stretch, 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 stretch. Good. Exhale, drop that left knee down out of our lunge position into our low lunge. I just watched Cool Running the other day. They were the track stars. This is our runner's pose. Inhale, slowly come up. Ugh. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Lean back, y'all probably too young for that movie. Inhale, reach up, stretch back. Drop the hips in, relax the shoulders, exhale, drop the hands to the top of the front right leg. We're moving here, take a deep breath in, and as I exhale, see my hips, look at these stripes, these are not Adidas, <laughs> these Adidas striped pants move back, and I'm going to show you how it's um, angled, angled here, I don't know what angle is that. And then I'm gonna move it back into a 90 degree angle. It's going straight down. My lines are in line with my knee and my hip. And then I straighten out my right leg, boom. Right leg straight, toes are curled back. Oh, feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Deep inhale here. Good, feel the foot stretched here, and opened up. Breathing in and breathing out. And now I'm gonna keep my hips aligned and lean my chest forward, and that says hello to my hamstrings. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my back if I like a little bit more. Oh, bringing those hands behind, pulling the wrist, I'm opening up to the chest here. If I want a little bit more, I bring my head down towards my knees. Do I want any more here? No, but you can go for more, bringing your forehead towards your knees, pulling your hands away. This is a stretch for the whole body here. Take a deep inhale. Good, exhale, relax, release. <sighs> Inhale, slowly bring the head up. Now once again, I'm gonna bring my stripes forward and I bend that right knee. Plant the hands down to the ground. Inhale, slide that right foot back to meet the left. And let's come into a plank position. On the knees plank, off the knees plank. Take a deep breath here. We only here for five, four, three, Two, option here. You can drop that right knee and then we're gonna roll the left hand up to the sky or you can keep the right knee off the ground. We're still gonna roll up to the sky for another five. Side plank here, four. Lift this left hip up to the sky as you press the right hand into the ground. Three, roll that left shoulder arm open, chest open. Two, breathe deep. This is where you find your breath and drop the left hand down. Slowly focusing, coming back to the center. Exhale, lower down. Oh, do a little work here. Inhale, slowly peel the chest up into our cobra. Check the heart rate as it's pumping in your chest. Breathing deep into your belly. Bring the chin up towards the sky. Drop the shoulders, coming into a cobra. Good. Drop down the chin, take a breath on the ground. <sighs> Hopefully your mat is clean. Inhale, slowly push up and back. We're going straight into the downward facing dog. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good. Spread those fingers, lift the wrist off the ground. Inhale, send that left foot back into the sky. Good. 
Reach it up. Point the toes and flex the toes. Point the toes and flex the toes. Point the toes and flex the toes. Exhale, bring that left knee into the chest. Ooh. Inhale, send it back up into the sky. Maybe a little higher. Ooh. Exhale, into the chest. Maybe a little higher. Ooh. Inhale. Higher. Ooh. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Walk it up, step it up. Always have an option on or off your knee. Getting long and strong. I'm pushing through the right heel, pulling to the top of my head, checking on my plants. Taking a deep breath here in this low lunge. I'm Janae Asana for the yoga language. Inhale. Exhale, drop the right knee. Jamaican bump sled team. Inhale, slowly roll the chest back. Heart opens, hands to the sky. Now, see how, once again, I have this alignment with, I like these pants. The stripes go down and you see the alignment of my knee and my ankle. Good, I feel like a highway. Both hands come up, shoulders relax, chest opens up. We're only here for a few more. Maybe I'll drop my hips down a little bit more. Ah, hips come forward, feel the stretch in that right leg, inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna drop my hands to my thigh, top of my left thigh. And then I move the hips back, straightening out this left leg and the stripes alongside the leg, good. And see how my hip is coming forward a little bit. I'm gonna move it back even more to feel the stretch in the back of that left leg, the hip. Toes curl forward. If you want to, again, you can bring the hands behind the back or you can bring the hands forward, chest forward. Oh, and feel that stretch. If you need a wider stance because you're wibbly and wobbly, wobble for me, wobble for me. You bring that left leg out for a wider stance and breathe in for five. Curl the toes and you'll say, whoo. Four. Lean the head and you'll say, whoo. Two. Take a deep breath and you'll say, whoo. Good. Inhale slowly coming up. Exhale, roll that left leg forward. This time I'm going to tuck the right toe and walk, step, bring that right foot up to the left. I want to fall forward here. Ugh. Good. Just hanging out here, forward fold position, stretching. Mm. Allowing the back of the legs to open up the lower back to expand, taking that tension out. And if you want to, you can grab the back of your legs, the shins, and pull yourself in, pulling your head toward your knees, and you will feel your back light up as you breathe deep for three, two, one. Inhale, slowly roll up. Both hands reach up into the sky. Reach up, lift up, lean back. Ooh. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. Good. I'm gonna relax the shoulders and inhale, roll them up and back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, left hand reaches up into the sky. So I slide my right hand over oh, for a good stretch. Deep stretch, long stretch. That's an affordable stretch. It's affordable because I can afford to do this anytime I need to just relax and release. It's not going to cost me anything but a couple of breaths, a little bit of time. Good. Recession proof stretches here. Good, inhale slowly, coming back to the center. Exhale. Inhale, bring that right hand up and over. So I'm pushing my right hip away. Things are clicking and clacking. Good, and I'm bringing my right arm over to the left side. Chest is open, rolling up and back. Feel that stretch along the sides, the hips. Inhale slowly, coming up. Exhale, dropping down. Shoulder roll again. Inhale, bring those shoulders up. Exhale, rolling back and down. Two more. Inhale. Inhale. Good. And dropping my head from left to right. 
right to left. Scratching my mustache. It's weird. And just rolling the head around. Working out the tension and the tightness in the neck. Good. Mm. Shaking it out, shaking it out, shaking it out. <sighs> Relax and release. Good. I want to bring my feet wider than my hips. So here's my hips and then my feet are wider. Turn my toes out. And we're going to squat low. Just doing a squat. So my knees go out as I drop my hips down. Good. Oh, go on as low as you can. You can bring your hands on your knees and push on the inside of your thighs. So you're getting to stretch a little bit more in the groin and the hips. And then drop the hips down even lower if that's possible for you. I hear my knees sounding like Velcro. Good. And then we're gonna make our way down to the ground, whatever way works for us. Good. Make our way down to the ground and we bring the soles of the feet together. They flip, fall away from each other. Bring the chest up. Good. The knees fall away and we just take three breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Good. Slowly allowing ourselves to work our way down to our backs. Oh, laying flat on your back. Let's bring those heels as close to your butt as possible. Feet are hip distance apart. Palms are face down to the ground. Let's inhale, push the feet into the ground and bring the hips up mm, for a bridge pose here. Bring that belly up a little bit higher. The butt's gonna squeeze and that brings you higher. The shoulders relax, the chest opens, the breath is deep, inhale. And exhale. Relax, release. Let the knees fall from left to right. Mm. This is one of my favorite lower back massages. Feels good, even massaging the sides of the hips, opening up, breathing deep. Nice. Good. And then just take another second if you need to to extend your legs. Mm. Move, stretch how you need to stretch. Just feel good. Before we come into our Shavasana. Uh, shavasana it rhymes with sauna because it is as relaxing. You just let things go. Sitting in a sauna. Have a nice beverage on the side close to you and the people who are close to you, right there in the pool with you, in the sauna with you. Feeling good in your body, feeling good in your mind. You allow yourself to slip on into a sense of comfort and calm and relax. Everything is where it should be. And you get a chance to take a break. Just relax and release. Stick a toe in and then relax those. And then the tops and the bottoms of your feet. Warm up through the water and relax. The calf muscles. The shins, the knees as you slowly submerge. The deeper you go, the more you relax. The legs. The hips and the belly. As you breathe into the soft belly, you relax the abdomen and the core. The chest opens up as the lower back starts to melt away with the heat of the sauna. Your shoulders soften just by getting into the water. The arms and the hands release as you relax through the neck, the throat the face, the jaw softens, no clenching, just let it slightly hang. The steam releases tension in your face, 
nose, lips, eyes. And you relax the tension in the temples along the sides of the skull. Breath is deep, inhaling and exhaling. Letting yourself be relaxed. Breathe. Please remain comfortable as long as you need to. I want to thank you deeply for joining us. And if you'd like to come out of it, you can stretch the arms over the head and the toes away from the uh, big good morning stretch. If you're laying there still, it's all good. Take your time. Greatly appreciate you, and it's an honor to serve you. And as always, feel free to feel free, and namaste. Peace.